Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm gonna show you my $300 PC build. So let's first start with the CPU. The CPU is an Intel Pentium G3258 which has 3.2 GHz and can be overclocked to 4 GHz. It is dual core and can basically play games under 720p or in 1080p medium settings. For the motherboard, I used the motherboard of my $400 PC build which is uh, linked down below which is an ASRock H97 Pro 4 Micro ATX motherboard. So it has uh, two RAM slots and can support 16 gigs of RAM which we had a 8 gig G-Skill Rips JOS series 8 gig RAM. It is DDR3 1600 mHz and can do pretty much everything uh, in gaming and in productivity like Pro, Premiere Pro editing, Photoshop and recording videos. So moving on, we have the hard drive which is a WD or Western Digital Caviar Blue 1 terabyte hard drive which is rated at 7200 RPM. It is a hard drive and not an SSD, but you can pick an SSD if you want. But it has a lower storage. So next is the graphics card, which will power all your games. Now, we pick the Asus GeForce GTX 650, which is a 2GB video card and can run every single game. I, ha I had this card and I tested it. And... Uh, it can play Minecraft and other games like LOL and CSGO. So in the case, we have a tight budget with it. So I picked the Rosewheel FBM01 Micro ATX Mini Tower Case. It looks ugly but it can do the job done. And for the power supply, I picked a ABJ 500 Watt 80 Plus Bronze Power Supply. It is not modular but it can... Uh, power all of our parts especially our graphics card and if you want to add an operating system like windows you can do so as well but it will bump up the price so the total price for this is $279 so if you want just add an external storage like an SSD or an operating system and other things uh, this part list will be link down below and uh, I will try this uh, PC parts when I got uh, uh, money to spend with it and uh, that's about it guys thanks for watching I'll see you on the next video please like and subscribe bye